Well, hello there and welcome. It's Walt and... It's, oh my God, it's Anne. It's so nice to have you Thank back you. on the blog. Two weeks Thank in a you. row. I know, I'm starting it's to feel really spoiled. Good. You know, a number of years ago, we were talking with a colleague about climbing Everest, which is something on our bucket list. And we asked him, what, was it, what does it take to climb Mount Everest? And he said, the capacity to be miserable for a long time period of time. And we, we were remembering that the other day because it seems as if maybe summer has passed into fall here in the western part of Ireland and it's been rainy and miserable and we've had some really wet runs and we've been talking about resilience and discomfort. Yeah, I think this, like, this sounds kind of passe, but the key to success is our ability to stay in discomfort for long periods of time. It's not just about climbing Everest or climbing a mountain. It's can you stay in it when it's not going your way, when it's super uncomfortable, when you're meeting one obstacle after the next. You know, and we're in this very challenging period of time called the pandemic where there's a lot of discomfort, a lot of unease, dis-ease, a lot of... Um, just feelings like we we're frustrated and overwhelmed it's just it's it's not comfortable it's it's just it's not fun on many many levels and in, on the internet with respect to business we're all sold this bill of goods that if you buy this one bot or follow this one program or do these three keys, you're going to have overnight success. Oh, the one that gets me is, you know, you can write a book in a weekend as if you're just going to like, it's all going to be a download from the universe and it'll all lay out smoothly on the page and you don't run into any kind of problem. We built five successful businesses from scratch and every single one of them has taken time and a dirty four letter word called work. We've run um, some marathons and ultra marathons. We've run back and forth across the Grand Canyon. We've climbed some pretty high mountains and they've been extraordinarily amazing, life-changing, joyful experiences. And they and have been so hard. Like we were just talking, like I think you were born a lot more resilient than I was. Like I didn't develop any kind of resiliency probably until my 30s, the first time I ran a marathon. And it is when I kind of came face to face with my capacity to overcome one challenge after the next and get a given outcome. And the confidence that gave me was unreal because up until that point, I avoided conflict. I avoided anything that was uncomfortable. I just wanted to coast and be left alone. And my life wasn't going particularly well. And I think that's a really important lesson here that resilience actually can be learned. I mean, I learned it. I think my mom and my dad fostered the environment for resilience. But I think regardless of whether you learn it early on or whenever, it, it's a skill that can be learned. That, that by doing hard things and to leaning into hard things, we see what we're capable of. I remember that when we ran our very first ultra marathon together in our hurricane, how miserable that was and how much we learned about ourselves, about what we were capable of, well, far beyond what your mind would tell you. Yeah, and I think, you know, that there's that tendency to want to challenge yourself again and again with really hard things like that, because once you see what you're capable of, once you see how far you are able to go, even when it's really, really hard, like you don't want to go back. Because um, the magic is in creating um, beyond what you thought you were capable of. Um, the great inventions of the world, the Sistine Chapel and the light bulb and the internet and supercomputers, those were all ideas. Um, that were unimaginable and people leaned into it. The 
great expeditions and achievements um, in outdoor adventure. Uh, all of those things, they're, they're born of leaning into the unknown, leaning into the discomfort. And especially now when we're surrounded by so much discomfort, learning to embrace it, learning the lessons of the discomfort and learning how much you've got within you that already is there that you can harness. So resistance um, is futile. Um, yes. resilience, <laughs> resilience is what will take you the distance. And resilience can be learned as long as we're mindful and we're intentional and we lean in to that place of discomfort. So look for those places and embrace those lessons and make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon. Bye, guys.